Thank you, Bailey. Oh God, my knee hurts today. So here's a fun thing about dog walking and dog training. There's this theory called spoons it's in psychology. You can tell if you imagine spoons being a stressful situation, stressful things in your life, triggers. The more you work, the more you realize that you have spoons and that they are being taken away, you can get to that last one and go, you know what? I can't handle much more today. And you can call it quits. One of my spoons got taken away by my knee. That's one of my limitations. But because I know my limitations, I'm going to make sure my dogs act a little bit better. Thank you, Bailey. <coughs> I'm not going to do a whole lot. The dogs can do more, but I don't want to work harder or do what I normally can. I will still play ball with them, but the ball is going to be thrown a lot closer. So we have choices. Pick one. I'm not going to go far. Thank you, Bailey. Wow. Good girl. Thank you. She decided not to get a ball. You want that one? Which one do you want? Hey, let's try it again. Ready? Did you not like my throw? Oh. Oh, that's a good girl. Good girl. So what we can do is I can play with her with the ball a little bit more. But I don't want this to be the only action interaction we have. I'm going to stay close to my safe spot, which is the van. Thank you, Bailey. Good drop it. You're all about the treats today. Do you know I'm not feeling good? I doubt it. Ready? Last one. Oh, wow, good girl. Normally we play, she'll have one in her mouth. But she's focused on the treats, and the ball is an afterthought. Good girl. Thank you. You can have it. I don't care about it. Ready? Let's go potty. So I'll let her have it. Let her, because I know when she has the ball in her mouth, she's going to do her own excitement stuff. And I'll play with her that way. Again. Self-care, this is my interactions, my limitations of what I can do when I'm walking with the dogs. If you want to do the spoon theory, at least one of my spoons is gone. I know that for a fact. I can get, so if I, my day gets a lot more stressed, I know I've got other things i got to do when I get home. i got to clean up. Can that wait till tomorrow? No. Stay, I'm dog while I'm dog sitting and I gotta make sure the house is clean because they come home tomorrow. Bailey, thank you. We'll get some water. Let's go. So we can also work on so with my limitations I find other things to work on. So my spoon is gone. Thank you, Bailey. Let's go get some water. I can take time out and rest a little bit. Go a little bit slower. Let's go, please. Teach her that it's okay. We don't have to be so hyper and active and all that stuff. Which I don't do anyways. So, but knowing you have limitations is very important to dog training. It's very important to life. Don't force yourself to do things you can't do. Bailey. Thank you. I'll let you back up. I gotta go in the back and get, get water. Ready? Up. Come on. Go. This is Scott with Second to No One Canine Life Coaching talking about self-care and spoons. I'll discuss a little bit more of that later. This will be an introduction video to that. I gotta get Bailey water, so I gotta cut this a little shorter. My knee is hurting. I'm gonna have to take Advil. Have a great day.